Okay, uh, first little bit of mediocre news. There's been 20 to 25 mile an hour winds with the front that moved through today. And that would rule out, that rules out setting up light stands. They're, they're, they're just not going to hold up in wind. They're not made for that. So that kind of rules out that plan I had. But that's okay. That's okay because when I thought about it, I said I should have just gotten the trail cam anyway because the trail cam fires a strobe with the trigger light, the motion detector, and all, and all that stuff. I was trying to do it in the, the long way. That it didn't even... Uh, I had the money. I could have gotten the trail cam. Um, but that's okay because you have to experience things to learn. Um, I have the equipment with me. And it's very expensive equipment. And I, I just didn't want to set it up out here and have it all busted up and broken by the wind. So uh, the trail cam is made specifically for strapping to a tree. It'll, it'll be secure. It can hold up under gale force winds. So anyway, I got two great spotlights and LED lights and with the LED light I, I can operate with some stealth sneak right up in the darkness if I hear something and then blast it with a million candlelight so it's still gonna be good it's all good it's all great I've got a couple days off from work so I'm really all over that and it's the first time I had any time off in three years so this is what I enjoy doing. I remember a video TCS did where he was up camping out with his family and he's doing the burgers, putting the garlic all over him and he's just looking around and going, this is, this is where I belong. This is where I'm at. This is what I want to do. Uh, I could have done anything with two days off, but this is where I'm at. Anyway, uh, exciting things happening. A lot going to happen on this expedition. Uh, we're getting into the nautical twilight. I'm getting close to the swampy areas. So it's all good. It's all good.